So again, I'm just making the art today. Uh, we'll add this thing to Godot on Thursday. So I'm going to go to Pascal and open up the program. And so I'm going to put everything in one sprite sheet for this one. Uh, so we did with the character animation, we did different sprite sheets for each animation. So that's one way to do it. And that may be easier to organize. Um, but as we did with our reward and our obstacle last week, I want to show that we can also just put them all in, into one big sprite sheet. Um, so I'm going to call this enemy. Uh, and actually, I'll call this an obstacle so that the art is next to our obstacle. So this enemy is technically an obstacle. Um, even though it's you know going to be moving, it's still generally an obstacle in the game in the sense that we have obstacles and rewards. We have things that are trying to prevent us from you know, uh, getting to the end of the level or achieving the challenge. And then we also have uh, rewards or things that help us uh, achieve those goals. So uh, for this one, I'm going to make like a, I think I'll make like a bug. Usually I make like a snake, but I think I'll make like a, maybe a weird bug for this one. Um, so I'll say this is like a bug. And so for this Pascal file, I'm just going to save this uh, in my art folder with, the other obstacle and the reward. So I'll just save this in here. Um, and let's make sure I see the whole canvas. So yeah, I'm just going to draw like a weird bug and then animate it. So I want to start out with just kind of like a basic design, and then I'll create my animations. And there's going to be a lot more frames for this one, so it'll be a little bit harder to manage. Uh, but I think we'll be able to do it. Um, so I'm going to create an outline for my bug first, as usual. I'll just do like a circle, and then I'll kind of draw around circle. Move it down just a little bit. And so we want to keep in mind for the animations, we want the body, like kind of the middle of the, the drawing, to basically be in the same place, regardless of what's happening in the animation, so that it's not jumping around a lot when we bring it into the game to do the animation. Um, just because remember, when we're doing the animation uh, in Godot, we're not like we need the uh, we need our bug to stay in one place. So even if the bug is like jumping or moving around, we need the center of the bug to stay in the same place so that it doesn't move at the same time. So I've got an outline for my bug. I'm gonna uh, turn on the onion skin so I can see it, and I'm gonna choose a color. Uh, my main character is like green, so for the bug, maybe I'll do it, make it like, maybe I'll make it kind of like black, that might be kind of scary, uh, maybe like dark red kind of, like over here somewhere. Uh, I want to make sure that it's clear that, you know, this thing is, is bad or scary or I don't want to run into it, so that's what I need to do visually. Um, so I'll start with just like, an outline of the bug's body, and then I'll give it some like bug legs. And I might give it like some weird bug eyes. That kind of makes it look like a crab. Uh, but that's cool. Maybe it's like an alien bug or a crab. Uh, let's do this one like. Okay. And so let's fill in the body color and maybe I'll fill in the eyes like a, a brighter red so it'll look so it'll stand out a little bit um, and that's pretty good that's what I'll use for kind of like my basis and then I'll, I'll use this as for the other animations um, so I'm going to turn off the onion skin for a second and just duplicate this and so one animation I need to have is the idle animation so the bug is just kind of sitting around um, so I'll use a couple frames for that. Maybe I'll just move the eyes around. Um, so I'll use my first frame. And then for my next frame, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. So for this frame, I'll just delete the eyes. I'll erase the eyes and uh, make them kind of look somewhere else. And that'll be pretty easy to animate for an idle animation. And so let me actually turn on the onion skin again so I can see where they are to start. And I'll choose the body color. And I'll just kind of make the eyes look over here for a second. So that'll be cool. It'll make it look like the bug is kind of like looking around. 
Uh, and maybe I'll change the legs up to uh, just to add a little bit more kind of realism to this idle animation. I'm just going to have two frames. So like, I always want to keep my animations like really, really simple. But you guys should make them more complex if you want to. Uh, but when it comes to making a game, as I've mentioned, you know, the simpler we make things, the better off we're going to be later because we're it's not going to take us as much time uh, to build out the game in Godot. Okay, so let's turn the animation on for a second, and that looks fine. That'll be my idle animation. I, I think the legs are actually moving too much. Uh, let's erase those. I just want like a little bit of movement. So I'm gonna, I have the onion skin on. I'm just gonna make them change just a little bit. So for this one, I'll go down like that. This one, I'll just go over a little bit. And so let's see how that looks. Okay, that's good enough. Um, obviously, I could spend more time on this, but I think this is good enough to start with. So I've got my idle animation is just those first two frames. Now I need a walk animation. I'm just going to do really, really simple walk animation. So I'm going to duplicate the first frame and drag it down here. And uh, I'm going to erase the legs. And then I'll duplicate that. Well, actually, let's make the eyes move a little bit forward so we get the sense that we're moving forward. So I'm going to draw the eyes first. Oops. Oops. Okay, so I've got the eyes moving forward a little bit. And I'm going to keep the eyes the same but I'm going to animate the legs. So I'm going to make two frames here, and I'm going to draw the legs kind of going back and forth. I'm going to make it look super goofy. So I'm going to have like these legs going out like this, and then these legs. Uh, oh, whoops, I put this one first. Let's drag this down here. And then I'll just like reverse the legs here. OK, so then let's see that animation. So I think that's going to work. Right now, we're looking at the animation for idle and then walk. But I really just need two frames for the walk animation. Uh, you know, As long as the game is moving the character around, all I need is the legs to be moving back and forth to get this walking animation. Actually, I can use the, the keys to kind of switch back and forth between the frames. I think that'll be pretty good. Okay, so now we need an attack animation. Uh, so I'm gonna duplicate the first frame again. That's kind of my base frame. Drag it down here. And so now I need some way of attacking. Uh, so I probably actually redraw. So I'm gonna go to the next frame. And how would a bug attack? Like, uh, hmm. I guess it could like have some like, it could stand up with its legs. I don't know how a bug would attack. Maybe it'll just, um, it could like shoot something, but I don't really want, we're not gonna deal with shooting stuff. So I'm just gonna make it like, like jump up and shoot its legs out. So I'll have to draw the body uh, kind of like in an upright position like this. And then draw the legs kind of jumping out like that. And then here's the eyes. So this is going to look pretty goofy, but uh, I think it'll be good enough for this example. And so for the attack, we don't really need that many frames. I'll probably just, let me just duplicate this frame, and I'll just erase the legs and redraw them. So it'll just kind of look like he's jumping up and wiggling his legs around. Should look pretty funny in the game. We'll see. Uh, so let's just make the legs going out. And let's see. So that'll look like that. And we could do multiple frames of that for the attack. That'll look kind of funny. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get the idea across. So I'm going to delete that first frame. 
So now I have one, two for the idle, three, four for the walk, five, six for the attack. So now we just need uh, the bug to die. Um, so I'm going to get this last frame again, duplicate it, and drag it all the way down here, and then make a new frame. And so if the bug, if we attack the bug, it's we we want to squish the bug. So I'm going to draw like a squished version of the bug body with the legs sticking out like that. And then we'll squish the eyes a little bit. So this eye will be going over here, and this one will go like that. Pretty easy. Uh, so again, I'm just doing this quick. You know, you guys can spend more time on this, but I just want to get the basic idea across. So that's my first death frame. I'm going to delete the uh, first frame that I duplicated. I don't need that anymore. And go to the next death frame. And so then this one, the bug is just going to be even more squished. Uh, so I'll color that in. and. Draw the legs out, and now the eye is like down here, and this eye is like here. Okay, and then I'll do one more frame. So this one would be a slightly different number. And so for this one, the bug is just like a flat pancake. Put the legs out, and just the eyes are sticking up like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna move this over a little bit, like there. So yeah, this is just an example of like putting all of these different frames into one animation. There's different ways to do this. You could do it like your character animation if that's easier. For this one, it's a little bit harder to keep track of because I have all these frames now. But now it's a little easier to get into the game because I just have one sprite sheet that I need to export and then I'll be able to put that in my game. So uh, I'm done with the art for now. I just need to export this. So I'm going to click on the export button. You got, do you mind waiting for just a few minutes until I'm done with this? OK. Um, OK, so I'm going to download the image, leave the scale at 1. And so I'm already in my sprites folder, but if I wasn't here, I would just go to the desktop, go to my project folder, go to the game, and go to sprites. And I'm just going to click save in here. So since it's named Obstacle Bug, it will show up next to my cactus. And so now I'm good to go. Um, I think that's everything I need to do. So on. Uh, on uh oh see Mallory had some ideas for attack pincers, venom, jaws, sharp appendages. Yeah, those would be good. I should have done uh I think jaws would have been good. Um anyway, it's good enough for, for this demo. So we'll put the art into Godot on Thursday and we have a moving obstacle script that we'll add on there. Um and we'll go over the different parameters of that script. Um, so that's it for now. I'm going to stop recording.